The age of electronic communications begins in the late 1840s with the first telegraph system, which is followed by the telephone in the 1880s, radio and motion pictures in the 1920s, television in the 1950s, and the personal computer and internet in the 1990s. The one major theorist of how the new media have affected human behavior over that century and a half is Marshall McLuhan. The term mass media was already in use and there was already great speculation about the mass media's grip on contemporary life. But once McLuhan lit up the sky in 1964 with his book Understanding Media, the term became his term, which was simply the media. And all the discussion of the subject began with whether you agreed or disagreed with Marshall McLuhan. It's remained that way ever since. His ideas are as hotly debated today in the age of the internet and digital new media as they were in the 1960s when he became an academic superstar. McLuhan's theory rests on a radical premise. He insists that nothing people can use electronic media for, no message that anyone, no matter how powerful or persuasive can deliver, even begins to compare with what the new media have done to humankind, neurologically and temperamentally. They have directly affected the human central nervous system and changed patterns of thought and behavior. In short, they've literally altered human nature. And there you have the basis of McLuhan's most widely quoted dictum, the medium is the message. The message is that the information transmitted via the new media were beside the point when compared to the way the medium itself has transformed human life. In other words, what is communicated, i.e. the message, is less important than the particular medium for which people communicate. Now that's a radical premise. Let's have a look at how McLuhan explains this himself. You see, it doesn't much matter what you say on the telephone. The telephone as a service is a huge environment. And that is the medium. And the environment affects everybody. What you say on the telephone affects very few. And the same with radio or any other medium. What you print is nothing compared to the effect of the printed word. The printed word sets up a paradigm, a structure of awareness which affects everybody in very, very drastic ways, and it doesn't very much matter what you print as long as you go on with that form of activity. What you print, McLuhan said, is nothing compared to the effect of the printed word. What you say on the telephone is nothing compared to the effects the telecommunication system has on individuals and societies. It's not the message that's the message. It's the medium for which this message is delivered that is the message. It's not the content that's important, but the form the message takes.